but let's take a quick look at last week and we still have the monday night game to go bills versus jets curious to see how that turns out uh, we've got bills in this one but uh, you know we saw the niners kind of struggle a little bit with the seahawks at first uh, but they were able to get it done and uh yeah uh, a lot of other good games here this past week uh, you know emergence of caleb williams uh, you know some other good divisional battles you know explosive game from the buccaneers uh you know texans look good but we got to see a lot of rookie starts in this past week uh, five rookie starts in this past week so uh yeah really fun week in the nfl uh, really good battle between Jaden daniels and lamar jackson so let's go ahead and move on to week seven and take a look here because this is pretty exciting we've got uh, first up Thursday, Broncos at Saints, and I'm going with the Broncos. Broncos have been able to put up a lot of points recently with Bo Nix, which has been really encouraging to see. So I'm taking Broncos to win outright. So I'll take the plus one there. And uh, for the point total, I'm going with the under here. Broncos defense versus a rookie in Spencer Rattler, who looked okay, but when the Bucks really decided to clamp down, uh, they were able to. So I think Broncos can absolutely do the same. Uh, so I'm going Broncos there. And then on to the Sunday slate, Patriots, Jaguars. So uh, this is going to be another London game. I'm going to take the Jaguars this time. Another rookie in this matchup here with Drake May. I don't love the points on this one. Uh, Jags do have the ability to score a lot more so with Evan Ingram back. So I'm going to take them, but I'll take a plus five and a half for the Patriots and uh, I'll, I'll take the over here because Drake May was able to get three touchdowns up in his first start. So both of these teams can move in the ball and score. So uh, we'll go there. And then uh, Seahawks, Falcons, Battle of the Birds. I'll take Falcons. They put up massive points in this past week. I will take the over. A lot of talented uh, wide receivers and running backs on both sides of the ball. I uh, love this. I'll take Falcons. And I'll go with the uh, plus three here. I think they can get it done. Uh, and then here we've got titans going to buffalo and i'll go with the bills and i and i will take the eight and a half it's big but it all really just takes a turnover from will levis something like that to just swing it to where the game can really get out of hand and bills have the running back depth to milk the clock uh and then I'll, I'll take the over here and we've got Bengals in a divisional matchup against the browns i will take the over here and i'll take Bengals minus five could be close divisional games a lot of times are but I don't really think so I'm leaning on the you know really high powered offense that the Bengals got Joe Burrow really seems to be in the groove right now and then Texans going to Packers this one was a tough one for me but I will take the Packers here in this spot so uh, I will uh, you know I love CJ Stroud and everything he's doing but the Packers have just been clicking on all cylinders really like uh, the defense as well for both teams but I'll just go with Packers who have their top number one wide receiver, whereas the Texans are missing Nico Collins, who's on IR. Um, so I'll go, uh, I'll go minus two and a half Packers. Definitely could see it being a shootout. So we're taking the over, and then we got Dolphins versus Colts. Uh, Going to be in Indianapolis, minus three and a half. I'll take that minus three and a half. I'm not sure if Tua is coming back quite yet. So uh, we've just seen Colts be able to put up some pretty decent numbers. Their last game, they only won by three. Uh, so. Uh, could be tough there you know actually guys um I'll, I'll take colts to win but we'll go plus three and a half for dolphins because it really just takes one game breaking play from tyree kill to make that be the difference there and then we will go with the over and then we've got lions at vikings vikings uh, coming off of bye now the lions just had a really impressive performance coming off of by themselves but the vikings are fully healthy, whereas the Lions lost their best defender in Aiden Hutchinson this past week. He'll be out for the year. So I'm going to take the Vikings here. Uh, they should be able to run effectively and still have Justin Jefferson to throw to. Um, should be a shootout. We're taking it over for sure. And then we'll Eagles, Giants, divisional game there as well. And uh, here I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and take uh, the Eagles to get it done. I think Giants should get both of their starting wide receiver and running back back in the fold but still uh, eagles look good coming off the bye there and i'll take the minus three and a half and i will take the over 43 and a half then we've got raiders at rams so a lot of divisional games this week uh so i'll go ahead and take chiefs excuse me i'll have to go ahead and take the uh, rams coming out of a bye Ram raiders have been kind of f falling uh since Devonte adams um had that hamstring injury and uh, the trade rumors were out their rams are supposed to also have cooper cup coming back this week so i will take 
the minus five and a half a little bit risky but um just accounting mainly for there to be a big spark coming out of a buy and getting one of your best weapons back on offense and i'll take the over as well and then panthers at commanders we'll go commanders Panthers have been able to hang close in some of these games nervous to take that seven and a half but i will take that seven and a half i'll go commanders minus seven and a half there and we'll go with the over uh, since the Panthers have been putting up points every week as well. So over 52 there. And then Chiefs at Niners. This one was tough because it's the Chiefs who uh, have lost a lot of guys to injury. Uh, but they're still 5-0. and They won th two titles in a row. Um, there's really not too much reason to doubt this team. And one of the main things that swing these games is the quarterback position. I think Mahomes still has everything he needs to get some wins here. Uh, uh, also, maybe the Niners don't have their, uh, Jace, uh, you know, uh, Mason, the running back there, he was banged up in the last game, so maybe they're on their third string running back. So I don't think that makes too much of a difference. I'm just going to go Chiefs because of Mahomes and Andy Reid, basically. And I will take 47 at the over there, uh, but Chiefs plus one. And then Jeff's uh, Jets versus Steelers. I will take... Uh, I, I would say this is a good spot for the Jets to bounce back. Uh, Steelers have been able to get it done on the ground game. But, uh, you know, this is a really tough one. I, I am going to take Steelers, though, guys. Steelers at home, it's a tough bet to bet against them. I want to go with the Jets, but with a coaching change, uh, even though a lot of times the, the players will rally around that, it's still a tough spot to be in where the Jets are at right now looking for answers. So I will take Steelers to get it done there. I'll go uh, a minus one and a half there, and I will take the under because Steelers uh, – have rarely gotten above 17 points so it could be tough to find points in this game with two really good defenses and then we've got monday night double header uh so we've got ravens going to tampa bay and we'll see if that's still located in tampa bay you know shout out to everybody who is in that region with this hurricane so uh, we want everyone to be safe and get right as soon as possible but uh right now i'm not sure if there'll even be football played over there could be at a neutral site we'll see how things go with that but uh, I will take the Ravens here, minus three and a half. Uh, Lamar coming off of MVP season, uh, still doing what got him there. So uh, I think they're rolling with that run game and everything they've got, even though Bucks put up a ton of points this past week. So I'm definitely taking the over there, over 48. And then finally, we've got Chargers going to Arizona versus the Cardinals, and I will take the Chargers to get it done. And uh, minus two and a half, that works for me, and I'll definitely take the over in that game of 44 so that'll be it for the week seven picks like and subscribe appreciate you guys and good luck next week